simplify the following complex fractions. One method that we can use for simplifying complex fractions is to multiply both the numerator and denominator by the LCD for the entire fraction. So the first thing we have to decide is what is the LCD? Well that 2 is a 2 over 1 so our common, let's see, we have a, a factor of 1, that's boring. We have an x plus 4 and an x minus 1. So the LCD for the entire fraction is x plus 4 by x minus 1. So what I'm going to do with that is multiply the entire numerator by x plus 4 by x minus 1 and the entire denominator by x plus 4 by x minus 1. Now, since I have this quantity here that's being added, I have to apply the distributive property. So that would give me 2 times x plus 4 times x minus 1 plus 3 over x plus 4 by x plus 4 by x minus 1. And in the denominator, I have 8 over x minus 1 by x plus 4 by x minus 1. All right, so now some nice things happen. In the second term here, this 3 times 3 over x plus 4 times x plus 4 times x minus 1, these x plus 4s reduce. And in the denominator, similarly, x minus 1s reduce. So, I have 2 times x plus 4 times x minus 1. 2 times x plus 4 is 2x plus 8, and that's being multiplied by x minus 1. So that would be 2x plus 8 by x minus 1, that's a 2x squared plus 6x minus 8. And in the second term, I have 3 times x minus 1, that's a 3x minus 3. In the denominator, I have 8 times x plus 4, which is just 8x plus 32. And really, we could leave it as 8x, 8 times x plus 4. So I'm just going to leave it as 8 times x plus 4. Simplifying the numerator by combining like terms, I would have 2x squared plus 9x minus 11. The denominator is 8 by x plus 4. Now, that, nu that numerator will factor. 2x squared plus 9x minus 11 does factor. Let's see, we'd have an x and a 2x. Um, 11 and a 1 here. So we'd have an x minus 1 by 2x plus 11. But it doesn't remove, it. Not, neither of the factors remove with the denominator, any of the factors in the denominator, so it's not necessary to leave it in its factored form. Alright, exercise B. Again, we have to figure out the LCD first. Let's see. We have A to the second, B to the third, A, and B to the second. Uh, so the LCD would be A to the second, B to the third multiplying the numerator and denominator by a to the second, b to the third. Would give us 5 over a to the second times a to the second, b to the third, plus 4 over b to the third times a to the second, b to the third, over 4 over a times a to the second, b to the third, minus 2 over b to the second by a to the second b to the third. Simplifying. In our first term, the a to the seconds reduce, leaving a 5 b to the third plus, in the second term, the b to the thirds reduce, leaving 4a to the second. 
and the denominator, the first term in the denominator at least, this a, we, we reduce between the a's, leaving a single factor of a. So I'd have 4b to the third, 4a b to the third, and in the last term in the denominator, the b squared reduces out with the b to the third leaving a single factor of b. And so then we would have a minus 2a squared b. And we can leave it like that.